Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Today we start section 9.8 power series. Let me give you a quick rundown of what we have been doing recently. Uh, we looked at series, a few sections, uh, how they converge, when do they converge, diverge and so on and so forth. But then the last section we were looking at polynomial approximations to functions which are hard to compute and polynomials are easy to compute. Uh, but then they were polynomials, they were not series. Uh, just for instance, you have e to the x. There is a first degree Maclaurin polynomial of e to the x at c equals 0 of course, Maclaurin. This is third degree approximation. This is sixth degree approximation. We also saw in the last section, the higher the degree of the polynomial, the better the approximation. But nevertheless, it remains an approximation. Even if you did 500th degree polynomial approximation of e to the x, it will still be an approximation. But we know that adding more terms is increasing the, increasing the accuracy. So perhaps it leads us to think that perhaps there may be, if you keep this process going forever, and you know, with the dot dot term means really forever, don't stop at a finite term, don't stop at 10th degree or 12th degree, but just keep going forever. Perhaps if you do that, then it becomes exactly equal to e to the x. And indeed that is true, we are going to see this a little bit later, that such a series, right, now we are coming back to infinite series, such a series converges for any possible value of x, and when it converges, I mean, and the convergence value is the e to the corresponding x. In other words, if I replace the x with 3, it will converge to the exact value of e to the 3. If I replace the x with 7, it will converge to e to the 7. What is interesting about this series compared to all previous series is that there is a variable in this series, the x, right? And this will bring us to our definition of what is called a power series. So let's write this down. Definition of a power series. A series of the form. where x is a value, okay? is called a power series, okay? The idea of a power series is that x is a variable and the powers of x are increasing. And the coefficients can be any coefficients, uh, I mean, in a given power series, the coefficients will be particular coefficients, but the idea is that the definition allows for general uh, coefficients. Um, notice also that the, the summation starts with n equals 0 because we want that constant term, right? So this looks like a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus 1, right? So we do want that constant term in general, although for some specific cases they may not be, some of the powers may not exist. But in general, we want the thing to start at n equals 0. This, like the Maclaurin series, is centered at 0. So more generally, a n with x minus c to the power n, n is from 0 to infinity, uh, is called power series centered at C, okay? Power series centered at C, generally speaking. Uh, and so this, you know, the terms will look like A now, plus A1x minus C, plus A2x minus C squared, and so on, okay? Alright, let's do just a few examples of this thing to understand how these look like. A um, few examples of power series. Let me leave this general definition of a power series up there while I do the first example. So this is an example of a power series 
it's centered at zero, right? Um, just for the uh, uh, sake of understanding, let's write down a few terms. When n is zero, this is one, one over one. n is one, this is a minus x over two plus x squared over three minus x cubed over four and so on. So here's the power series, it's centered at zero. Let's show another example. Where we set, have something centered somewhere else. Oh, sorry. Okay. So here, um, if you compare the form of this thing with the general form, you see that the x minus 2 is the x minus c, so c is 2, and the a nth coefficient here is 1 over n cube. And over here the a nth coefficient was negative 1 to the n over n plus 1. So this is centered at, at uh, c equal to 2. Right? And you know, you can write, notice that because it's n cube in the bottom, there is no n equals zero term. So in, in a particular series, a bunch of terms might be missing. The constant term might be missing, or some of the powers of x might be missing. Okay, I'll write down one more example just to see how this uh, centering uh, different places looks like. The last example for this part. Look at this series. This, what do you think this is centered at? This is centered at c equals, uh, this is x minus minus 1. So this is centered at x equals minus 1. Okay? So these are, your, these are some examples. And in the next lecture, we will talk about convergence of power series.